Green Bombers Join Zig Campaign As the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe grapples with making the new currency work by using several measures including a crackdown on illegal money changes. Government's quasi-military wing, the National Youth Service NYS popularly referred to as Green Bombers has joined the campaign for the Zig acceptance by the public. NYS National Public Relations Officer Teriro Berinofa confirmed the development and said they had several activities lined up to campaign for the acceptance and use of the ZIG. We are proposing an outreach program where we will do roadshows, dramas, breakfast meetings, and interviews. In rural areas we are targeting townships, traditional beer festivals, village heads, dip tank gatherings, and funerals, said Berinofa. In a proposal by the Green Bombers addressed to the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development seen by Talzim News, NYS indicated that they were ready to do campaigns in support of the government and the ministry. We fully acknowledge the importance of complementing this currency reform with other robust support frameworks. These would include measures to address underlying structural economic issues, boost domestic production, promote exports, and enhance fiscal discipline. Such a holistic approach will be crucial for maximizing the positive impact of the new currency and ensuring long-term macroeconomic stability. However, we are deeply concerned by the public backlash and misinformation campaign launched by the opposition and their associates regarding this currency reform. These actions not only threaten to undermine the potential benefits of the new currency but also aim to sow distrust and destabilize the nation's economic progress. We propose a nationwide public awareness campaign to address the misinformation and negative propaganda surrounding the new currency introduction. This collaborative effort between the ZNICSA, Trebablis projects, the Ministry of Finance, and the RBZ would focus on educating the public, disseminate clear and factual information about the new currency, its features, benefits, and the transition process. Countering misinformation, address rumors and falsehoods, providing evidence-based counter-narratives to promote trust and understanding. Community engagement, the whole town hall meetings, workshops, and public outreach events to facilitate dialogue and address public concerns, the proposal letter read. In the proposal, they also boasted of having members in the communities who are energetic, saying they have experience that could bring about the desired results. The involvement of youth structures. Specifically, the Zimbabwe National Youth Service Graduates Association and Trebablis Projects Trust is imperative in successfully championing this government program. Both Zniska and Trebablis boast a vast network of dedicated young people embedded within communities across Zimbabwe. This grassroots presence fosters trust and accessibility, facilitating the dissemination of information directly to the people most impacted by the new currency policy. Young people represent a significant portion of Zimbabwe's population. A campaign spearheaded by Youth for Youth promotes effective communication and understanding. It establishes a relatable connection that is crucial for addressing concerns and fostering acceptance of the new currency among this demographic. Youth bring unparalleled energy, enthusiasm, and a fresh perspective to this campaign. This can manifest in creative outreach techniques, innovative use of social media, and adaptable strategies that resonate with a wide audience. Reads part of the document. In April this year, government confirmed its need to revive the NYS with a target of having trained 10,000 youths by June, with recruitment currently underway in various districts across the country. The Green Bombers were introduced in 2000 by the late ZANU-PF National Political Commissar Border Gezi, then Minister for Gender, Youth and Employment, who later died in a car crash in 2001. They are often used by ZANU-PF during campaigns where they are used to perpetuate violence against opposition opponents and fears are that they may be used to intimidate people, especially in rural areas. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.